Hey y'all, this is Jeff with Atlantic Arcade Sales and Service Repair. I'm here in Florence, South Carolina. We're delivering this really cool looking cabinet. We're going to call this the Chris Cade for Crystal uh, here in Florence. Um, this turned out looking incredible. I want you to take a good look at this, how it turned out. Of course, we've got the control panel underlighting, blank coin door, but we got the coin mix lit up. Custom molding. I threw in a couple things. One of those was custom molding for her to blue to match the cabinet. I figured she'd really like that. So I threw that in. We also threw in um, her moniker for this, uh, Chris Cade, which looks incredible. Um, and just make it a quick walkthrough video for her and how to operate this. And um, so basically, it's just like the other ones. These games travel through the menu. So as long as you're in a menu, you can keep right on going. We're in the arcade classic menu. But because we're in a menu, if we hit this top yellow button on the right, it's going to take us to the system selection menu. Um, and I'm going to show you what to do if it's not in a menu as well. But we can then choose between all game menu, which is really cool because it shows, you know, it shows all the platforms are in one menu. So you have your console games and your arcade games all in one menu. And this up here tells you what type of game you're playing. These are Super Nintendo, Atari 2600. When you see these designs, that's an arcade game. That's gonna be the header of the game. And as you can see, as I scroll down, to, to go through and choose games, we're simply going, you can go one at a time, up or down with the joystick. Um, you can go page at a time, left to right. You can also hold it down or up to traverse the games alphabetically. And if you wanna go really fast, you hold it left to right. And it'll go right through the games. Um, you know, these, it's, it's a quite, this is really cool. Like, if you can't remember what platform you, your favorite game was, this is a great way, whether it's a console or arcade, whether you don't remember, this is a great way to find your favorite game through all the titles. But once again, they're all in here. So it takes a little while to get through all the games, to say the least. So once again, we're in a menu. Oh, to choose a game, any game that you want to choose, it doesn't really. You know, any of them that you want to choose, um, whether it be console or arcade game, whatever it may be, um, you're just going to simply click player one while the game's highlighted. It's going to load the game. Now, this is a console game. The thing to keep in mind, the difference between console and arcade games, with consoles you have to credit, I mean, with, with arcade games you have to credit, consoles you don't have to credit. Typically, you can just follow through by hitting player one to start your console game. Anytime, let's say you come to the game, it's it's in a game or it's not in a menu. This is the trick to get back to the menu. We're going to hold down player one for two seconds. Let up. Now we're back in the menu we were in. Then to get to the overall menu, once again, we'll hit that top yellow button. And it's going to take us here, down to Arcade Classics. So we're going to just load in Arcade Classics. And now here we are. Once again, same process. Just move the joystick one at a time to scroll through. And all I'm going to do here is just check joysticks and stuff right here just so she can see. We're going to load in player one and player two. If it's a player two arcade game, remember you do have to throw in enough credits, but you have to bring in one, then bring in two. So, but I just want to just make sure we do a nice walkthrough video for her. She's not here today. And just to show off how great this looks with the color molding, the underlighting, and everything just matches up great. So we're going to credit them up. We're going to enter player one, and we're going to enter player two. I'm going to bring in the same guys because we'll be testing things. So now I'm going to test buttons, uh, switches, and joysticks. So I'm going to start player one. I'm just test testing each button. Test the joysticks. And you want to make sure you hit the corner so that you can do your special moves. And this is the, the four-way joystick. And basically what you've got is two eight-way joysticks. These are going to be on a lot of your console games, a lot of your fighting games. Um, these are the ones you're going to use. The four-way is what you're mainly going to use for Pac-Man, Miss Pac-Man, Donkey Kong, Popeye. Classic games that take four-way joysticks. This is the guy to play. So now we've checked all those. We're going to hold down our button for two seconds. We're going to exit this game. And we're going to go over and check Mr. Trackball. Once again, we got Star Trek. We want to enter it. We're going to hit player one. It's going to load the game. We'll credit it. 
Player One. Work. So he's checking his trap ball. And as you can see, he's doing just fine. So once again, to get out of the game, we're going to hold down Player One for two seconds. Let up. Now we're back in this menu. So now we can once again, if we want to go back to the overall system selection menu, we can go around choosing the arcade games right here. It's really cool. Shows the year they were made. A lot of times it shows all sorts of different information in these. But we're in a menu, so we're going to exit out. And now we're going to go down to console. And so you can Nintendo, Super Nintendo, any of these you choose. Once again, you use the joystick to scroll around to pick those. When you when you find out which one you want, you hit player one. And now you're in the catalog of console games from Nintendo. And it's really the same process. Just keep in mind with console games, you don't have to credit them. Arcade games, you have to credit them. Here we've got our dual port charger. And here, and the reason this game sounds so incredible, is we have a 90 watt power amp. It's also Bluetooth capable. So this is here. You've got your main adjustment, your bass, and your treble. Your Bluetooth button is right there. Once you click it, you'll see it come up in your phone. And you can then run what you want to through there. So... That's pretty much it. I'm gonna take some photos before we get out of here um, so she can see this and then shoot her this video if she has any questions. I have other videos to help her out with that. And just wanna thank Crystal so much for her trust in this purchase. And I hope she has many years of playing games here. Um, so thank you guys. Hey, to get your game on like Crystal, give me a call today, 843-450-0171. You can get your game out.